Thank you for joining us in the broadcast tonight. ODM leader Raila Odinga has assured Mombasa Muslim leaders that the BBI report recommendations can be entrusted in addressing issues affecting them. This has left nuns in the Orange Party drummed up support for the BBI signature collection. In Kisi, Ford Kenya Party leader Moses Wetangula was also rooting for BBI. However, NAC Kenya leader Martha Karua was heading towards the opposite direction, giving BBI a thumbs down. Mark Namaswa starts us off tonight. Raila Odinga has firmly established himself as a defender of government policies. He was in Mombasa, one of his strongholds, on the invitation of a section of Muslim leaders. He wasted no chance in promoting BBI. This document is not aimed at watering down the provisions in our constitution, but improving on what we already have in the constitution. When you have problems, meet the leaders, discuss with them, elaborate and explain your grievances, and uh, that is the only way we'll be able to move this country together. In the capital, Nairobi, ODM leaders were also drumming up support for the document. However, they focused on throwing barbs at Deputy President William Ruto, who appears to be sending mixed signals on the BBI report. Na tumeshukuru sana wamesema nataka kusupport. Sasa tunataka kumuona akienda akiweka saini, atuletee watu wote watangatago waweke saini. Sasa mkienda uwanjani mpate kwamba mko na timu moja. Mtacheza kweli mpira. Kwa hivyo tunataka tumuulize ndugu yetu Mheshimiwa William Samoei Ruto. Wewe kubali ukwe upinzani. Ndugu zetu hao wanajaribu kutafuta kitu ambaye wanaweza kutumia kama reason na excuse kwa wafuasi wao just to save face. And in Kisi, Ford Kenya leader Moses Wetangula was preaching BBI, which has set the ground for possible constitutional changes. Many of the issues that were causing divisions have been removed, and we now have a document that will lead this country to a very tranquil, a very successful future. Our agenda is a BBI only, so that we are all together. While many voices seem to support BBI, NAC Kenya leader Martha Karua, under the Linda Katiba initiative, insists the report is employed by a few beneficiaries of the current system to hang on to power. All Kenyans, including those in the provincial administration, know that they are being looped in into something unconstitutional. They are actually being made to violate the constitution. The BBI process aims at collecting a minimum 1 million endorsement signatures to be verified by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission before the bill is tabled and debated across the 47 county assemblies. It will then be tabled at the Senate and National Assembly on its way to be formally adopted. Mark Namaswa, KTN News. And uh, still on that uh, particular story, a section of political leaders from Western Kenya today converged in Bungoma for the launch of BBI signature drive in the vote-rich region. Led by Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Oparanya, his Bungoma counterpart Wycliffe Wangamati, and Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa, the leaders heaped praises on the document with Oparanya saying BBI will cure political fraud. Willie Lusige with more. It was the climax of the much-awaited Western Region Building Bridges Initiative Signatures Collection launch, the region joining other parts of the country in setting stage for a looming referendum early next year. Leading the signature collection drive, Bungoma Governor Weekly Fongamati, highlighting benefits of the BBI for the region. Aluya must be on that table when we are sharing the resources of this country. Wangamati dispelling concerns that BBI is a burden to Kenyans with the creation of more elective positions. The creation of the prime minister position and a do deputy prime minister position does not in any way increase costs in the running of government. In fact, it goes a long way in reducing costs in running of government. Even if when they appoint you as a prime minister or they appoint you as a deputy prime minister, you'll be earning a salary of a 
a member of parliament and then they just give you a responsibility allowance. Devolution identified as one of the biggest winners with the proposed increase for county allocation and ward development fund. MCS, ninyi munaenda kuwa wabunge na CDF yenu kwenye ward then. Sasa mambo ya kusema lazima uende upige magoti kwa governor, aa. As 2022 drum beats gather momentum, the battle for the region's kingship playing out. Is yasa ambao tumeanza, itatoa matabeli wa siyasa hapa western. Oparanya's statement seemingly targeting ANC leader Msali Amdavadi and Ford Kenya's Moses Masika Wetangula with Mlembe unity still elusive. Tumekuwa na matabeli wa siyasa hapa western wengi. Ambawa nangojea tu mkono yianguke. Fisi inafuata. Sasa hii watu kusimama tu oh nataka kuwa president na ukiangalia nyuma yako hakuna mtu. Sasa wewe unaharibu wakati wetu. Mnaweza kuwa kwa chama ile mnapenda. Lakini ikifika mwisho tuwe na coalition yetu ya western. But to also urge our leadership to be united in this campaign to see when I'm back. Before the launch, Kakamega County had collected 48,000 signatures, Busia 9,000, and Bungoma more than 6,000, with Bungoma expected to collect more than 200,000 signatures by early Tuesday. On Monday, leaders would spearhead the signature collection in Kakamega and Transoyer. The process of collection of BBI signatures in Western Region has been launched officially and everyone is now waiting to see if indeed this initiative will be able to bring together all the leaders of Western Region without considering their political stance. Will Sigeketia News, Bungoma, Mabanga.